there's been a couple things that happened here there, a split decision loss or a cut that got that stopped the fight. And uh, you take those away, I'm right there. So. I think most people know it's not a, not a fun fight for them because uh, there's not too much uh, it's a dangerous fight without too much to gain. So I definitely feel that uh, um, this can be you know, a, a good good fight for me. I'm a young guy, young in the sport, uh, fighting a legend, a guy that's been around the sport for a long time, had tons of fights, uh, beat the who's who of MMA. And, you know, I'm coming from a wrestling background and uh, you know, I have about 11 fights and getting into it. Um, undefeated, but I'm working my way up. You know, and so this is a huge fight for me. Kind of solidifies me, cements me here. You know, with the top guys in the world. If I beat Noguera, I got a, a really tough test in front of me in uh, Noguera. So uh, I'm looking to go out there, show everybody, you know, I'm here and I belong in this top, you know, top five type of guys. And uh, ultimate goal is a title shot, and that's what I'm working for. Miracle, especially being somebody of a military background, seems like a very intelligent guy. I don't want to go in there and go, all right, well, walk in the park. This guy doesn't know if he wants to fight anymore. Go in there, it's be like a you know a glorified sparring match, and all of a sudden you know I get caught in my pants now. So I'm still going out there to try to put him away as uh, intelligently and as uh, effectively as I possibly can. Honestly, the biggest change was the left to right handed. Um, some of the you know angles were slightly different, you know. Whereas with Noguera, you know, this side was more dangerous. Now this is the dangerous side that I have to be uh, cautious of. Uh, other than that, no, because you know in the camps I really do work on what I need to improve on. Well, I don't know if it happens every morning, but from time to time it happens differently. Mm -hmm. It's hard <laughs> when you when you turn in 37 and uh, I just counted this uh, Frank Mir fight will be my seventh professional fight. 37th fight in MMA and I had uh, 33 K1 fights. I have 70 professional fights behind, you know, and 37. You think it will be different than when you are in age of 25. But I will fight. Any fight could be the last one. It doesn't have to happen in the fight. Fight is the fight is nothing when you compare it to the training. You know, you have two, three, four sparring partners changing on you every two minutes. You know, so injuries. Inju if if some uh, serious injury come, it will definitely split me for future for future fighting. Definitely, and I don't I don't know when when it can happen.